morning everybody Hello. welcome to day two don't look at my face seriously it's huge <laughs> <laughs> seriously <laughs> we are just um, going down to the post office to Danny's got two bags I've just got one to post some parcels um, this is trip two a big <laughs> blob of rain has just fallen right on my head it's about to drip down keep watching <laughs> keep watching <laughs> 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 so yeah, we're just nipping down to the post office and then I'm going to go home. Oh, it's dripped right off. Can you see it dripping? I bet you can't on the camera. Ew. Wearing Finn's coat. Not mine. <laughs> Cross over the road. Oh, I've got Nick Group this afternoon, which I'm very much looking forward to. Oh, it's Thursday, isn't it? It's Thursday. It New Helen Stewart pattern came out for Nick Vent this morning. Not had a chance to look at that yet. Hang on, my bag's falling off. Oh, there we go. Right, oh, it's starting to really rain. I'll be back. Hello, everybody. I'm back now. It is quarter to 11. I finally have a coffee. So I'm going to turn the iPad on in a minute and look at the new Helen Stewart pattern. I think it's a shawl. I vaguely, barely looked at it this morning, um, but I think it's a shawl. So I'm going to turn the iPad on and have a look at that in a minute. And just have just half an hour, <laughs> just chilling. We've done, if you ordered the main skein last night for your advent, yours has been shipped this morning. It's first class. So could you please let me know when you get it? Thank you. Because I am a nervous wreck waiting for the postman. <laughs> so that's been shipped. They've been shipped. Um, and yeah, so... I don't know what I'm all of a dither. It's been a really, really busy morning. We haven't really stopped. What time did I get up? I got up at six this morning. I did, um, oh, I did my Joe Wicks. I showed you Joe Wicks. So Joe Wicks is a new one to me. He's only, I've only been doing it about a week, the Joe Wicks ones. I used to always do the step workouts. Um, there's a YouTube channel called Sea Donna fitness on youtube and they're really really good but my knee's been playing up it always does when it's cold so i don't want to do the step at the moment so i picked a joe wicks he has a lot of different things on his youtube channel and i just picked beginner friendly hit workouts and they've been really good so the one that i did this morning was only 15 minutes long it was no time at all. I felt great after I'd done it. So if you're looking for some at-home workouts, I would recommend Joe Wicks. I know it was really popular during lockdown. I didn't do the Joe Wicks ones during lockdown. I've only sort of recently discovered him. So yeah, that was that. Then we got all the orders packaged um, and shipped. We got all the in-stock yarn shipped first. We went down with all that first and then we went back down with Advents. So that's why there were two trips, just so we weren't taking up so much time in the post office. So we did all the orders that came in last night first, and then we came back and packaged all the advents with people that had purchased last night. So yes, so now I'm going to sit, enjoy this coffee. The dog's just sat, oh, you sat on my knee, bless her. She wants a cuddle, and I'll be back in a bit. Look at that rain, it's bouncing it down. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, I'll move the camera so you're not like just getting the bright light. We have leftover chilli for lunch. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Why not? So that is what we are having. I'm just going to scoop it into a bowl, do some bread and butter and then pop it in the microwave, I think. Where's my bowl? I've got... No, thank you, I'll have my 50-50. Microwave time. <laughs> I might make a coffee as well while I'm here. Why not? Oh, it's probably raining outside. We went to the post office at the right time. Didn't we? Didn't we? <laughs> Didn't we? That's Didn't your we. option. Didn't we? Didn't we, lad? <laughs> Didn't we, lads? Can you pass me a butter, please? Yeah. Got fibre chats on the TV, watching the um, finale thing for the West Knits. 
so I'm going to finish. I might watch Big Bang Theory while I have my dinner, actually. <laughs> Is there no open butter? Huh? Is there no open butter? I didn't go through this, grab it. <laughs> Never finishes the butter first. <laughs> Actually, right. Look, there's there's like next to nothing in it. Yeah. Just stir that. Right, gonna have dinner, make a coffee. Okay, so I've just picked up my festive sweater again. Um, so I'll tell you what happened with it. I got the pattern and I started it. I've never knit anything flat before. So I started it, then got really, really overwhelmed because it's just not something I'm used to doing. So it was bottom up as well, which again, it's not, something I'm really used to doing. I'm struggling with that cardigan I'm doing because it's bottom up. So I thought what I would do to make it easier for myself is use that pattern but also the pattern for the flax light and try and combine so I know that then I'm going top down and in the round. So I'm kind of just looking at both patterns, getting numbers from my first pattern but using the directions for the flax light and I'm trying to do it that way which I'm thinking is working out much easier for me. So this is what I have so far. <laughs> this is just the neckline. So I've just cast on the neckline, done the one by one ribbon, and I'm just about to switch needles and go into increases and things. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I'm really hoping it's going to be okay, but we shall see. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. So yay. Um, I've got knit group this afternoon. I don't know which project I'm going to take with me yet. I normally take something that's easy to work on because we're all so busy chatting at knit group that I just, I can't concentrate too much on a project. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to take yet, but I'll figure that out in a minute. It's only sort of quarter past 12. And yeah, so if you're doing the festive knitting with me, I know some of you have commented in the comments, so let me know what you're doing. Tag me in some pictures on Instagram or in the Facebook group or email, whatever. Just let me know what you're working on. I kind of had this idea that I wanted to do a bauble a day as well. I did talk myself out of it because it's utterly ridiculous. I've got enough projects at the moment to be getting on with nicely without getting overwhelmed. And if I start adding things like that, then I'm just going to drive myself nuts so I did talk myself out of it I tell you what I also nearly did with this yarn I was this close to doing it um I nearly did a granny hexagon cardigan with it and I thought I could have it in the festive colors with a granny hexagon cardigan because I'm so tempted to make one of them I really am when I went to Yarndale and I met up with Karen and Dawn and Jeanette they were all and Laura as well they were all wearing their granny hexagon cardigans. So I was so tempted to do one, but I thought, no, I want a, a proper festive jumper. That's what I want. So that's what I'm going to use this yarn for. I will do a granny cardigan at some point. So, yeah, talk myself out of the baubles because I was just being ridiculous. There is no way I've got time to make a bauble a day for Christmas. And then I was going to do socks because Summer Lee, is it Summer Lee? Oh, now is it Summer Lee? Don't quote me on that. I think it's Summer Lee, but I could be completely wrong. Has got free little mini sock patterns on the Ravelry page. And I thought I could do a string of little mini socks. And then again, I've left it too late, like I always do, to be doing too much actual festive knitting. 
I've looked at some amigurumi patterns on Etsy. I came across a gingerbread house, one that I just fell in love with. But again, it's so much work to try and get that done for December. Is it? Let me see if I can find it and show you it. Hold that thought. Because it was really nice. Where's Etsy? I'm sure I favourited it. Um... Oh, maybe I didn't. I must have done. Let me see if I can find it. Um, are you ready for this? How amazing is that? I could just see that on the table. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It really is. 28 page pattern now. I mean, the thing with it, none of it, oh, I really want to make it. I haven't got the yarn. I don't have that many colours. Not in DK. I think it's all DK weight. Saying that though, you know, you can go into boys and hobby craft and you can buy the little miniature skeins for like a pound. I really like it. The pattern's £11.20. It's just beautiful. Maybe it wouldn't take that long because all of the little things really wouldn't take long to make. But I bet you've got to put a... Oh, it's just gorgeous. Oh, I really want to make it. There's a train as well. Look at this. I'm ready for this one. So this is, the train is Pinky Pinky Blue AU. You'll have to just write that down. And the other one, oh, the other one's the same designer. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, look at this one. I'm sorry, but I just need to show you these. Same designer. If Jeanette, Jeanette, if you are watching, I hope I'm tempting you here. <laughs> oh, my word. I really like the, the gingerbread house. I really do. Let's see what it says. You can make a house out of, of any size according to your desire and possibilities. The roof of the house opens halfway to make it more convenient to play with. The house can be illuminated or no way. The inhabitants of the house, gingerbread men, are not included in this pattern. But... They are there. Um, the exact number of stitches and rows of the house base is not provided in the pattern. The pattern explains in detail how to crochet the house pieces according to the base dimensions because we all have different crocheting density. Yeah, that's fair, we do. Also, you will learn how to make the walls hard, how to make the inner side how to assemble the house and make it stable, how to make the light, the, oh, how to make the light inside. All decorative elements are also included. Please note after that, after the purchase, you will need to download two files, the PDF file and the Word file. Oh, that's really cute. That is just so stinking. Right, I'm just going to put it down because I don't, I can't, I can't, I've got enough to be knitting. That's going to play with me now for the rest of the day. I'm just going to stick a favourite on it so I can find it more easily. Let's just put it in a little... Oops, create new collection. Crochet. There we go. Right, okay, so... 
Anyway, right, so I'm going to change my needle size for this festive jumper. I'm going to get on to getting onto the body of it. And I'm not going to be looking at my iPad anymore. I am not. <laughs> cat's just fallen off the window. Oh, Polly. Right, I'm going to go let the cat check in. this out, right? <laughs> just a little, uh, <laughs> Jack, Jack wants to come in through the window. Now, bear in mind, the back door is wide open. Hang on. Sure? Look, the door's open. Come in through the door. Jack, Jack. The door's open. Come on, darling. That's it. Now he's got it. Now he's got it. Bless him. Took him a while. Just got back from Nick Group. My lamp's gone in the corner, so it looks really dark. I don't know how I'm going to manage for the evening chat tonight. We'll have to make it work somehow until I can get a new bulb. It's really dark in here. That's with the overhead light on. And normally I have the lamp on as well. Maybe I'm, maybe it's not that dark. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Had a really, really lovely time at Nick Group. No idea what Danny's cooking for tea tonight. Oh. Yeah. McDonald's fish and chips. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, don't know what we're having for tea, but... Stop chewing. Oh, the dog's been licking again. <laughs> I had a really, really nice time at Nick Group. It was lovely. So I'm just going to get myself sorted because I've just got in. And now Jack's discovered how to get in as well. Bless him. <laughs> He's in now. Say hello, Jack. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. Say hello. He's purring. Can you hear him purring? He's a little cutie, isn't he? Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. Jack. He's such a gorgeous boy. Look how clean he is. Cats are clean creatures, though, aren't they? Bless him. <laughs> I really apologise for the absolute appalling light. I'm hoping, if I don't talk for very long, we can just end the vlog here. I've got a big light behind me, but it's doing it's doing nothing. So I really apologise for the rubbish light tonight. It is uh, five past six in the evening. Ruby, stop it. Five past six in the evening and I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, it's been a really busy day, lovely day today. Why are you licking? Are you going to come and say hello? Come and say hello. Look, sis. Look, say hello. <laughs> this is Ruby. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, it's been a really lovely day. Just really busy. I seem to have sort of met myself coming backwards quite a few times today. So I'm all a bit of a dither. But I did refrain from buying the gingerbread house pattern. I really, really wanted it. But I'm not going to have time to knit it in November. Rubes, stop. I am hoping that Jeanette will see it and Jeanette might knit something Christmassy and I, uh, crochet something Christmassy and I can get my enjoyment there. Rubes, what are you doing? <laughs> We're filming. Why are you licking my elbow? Are you feeling jealous? Yes. You're feeling jealous. Um, so I'm quite proud of myself that I resisted. That does not mean to say I won't resist over the next week. There is every chance that I could break and buy it. As long as I've not bought it by this time next week, I won't buy it. Because I know I won't have time to make it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be good and stick to the projects that I've got. I'll show you my scrappy socks. They are making progress. Oops. There we are. I've just put in the next colour, which is a brown. Don't know how well this light's playing, but yeah, I'm really enjoying two at a time. I really am. It's lovely. So yeah, they are getting some progress done. So I'm not going to keep you here too long tonight because the lighting is shocking. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm going to go to Tesco's in the morning. We need to go and get some weekend bits. So I'll pick up a new light bulb. It, we've got a light bulb in the house, in the lounge. It's just the lamp that's gone. Rubes, stop licking. Um, and that's the difference that it makes. It makes a huge difference when you're trying to film. 
but never mind. So yeah, I'm going to go to Tesco's in the morning. I'll pick up a bulb, so it should be fine for tomorrow. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely day. I will see you tomorrow for day three. Bye, everybody.